we are discussing an issue in the context of a meeting held at Chennai in the presence of the finance minister, Madam Nirmala Sitaraman, Mr. Yes Gurumurthy, editor of a magazine called Tuklak, who is also nominated by the government of India in the board of Reserve Bank of India, making a scathing attack on the bankers, public sector bank. In the Wangi Hilder Kay, the period Prince and Andral, in the Wangi Trailer Kay, Teramayan Adigari Villa, in the Aras Wangi Lundi Villapuran, Karnam and Andralinga, Sambra Borchel, Avangalke, Sudundra Miller, in the Maria in the Ilkur, the Pura Kaisha Hill Langilkanga. He went on to say in a speech, in a question raised by one of the audience. It must have been a prepared question about the performance of the public sector bank. And he said that public sector bank, people are leaving the bank because the salary is low and the banks are left with Kalisadaihil in Tamil. Kalisadaihil in English means they are the waste, scumbags, filth. Such a scathing attack, you cannot expect from even the worst enemy for a bank. And he went on to say that the people are leaving because of the low salary and no freedom to take decisions. The fact is, public sector banks today employ crores of employees, uh, lakhs of employees, and they have the best talent. The last examination conducted for 2000 probationary officers in State Bank of India, when the vacancy was 2000, 20 lakh youth applied for it. And I have seen practically that uh, the youth who are joining the banks like State Bank of India, they leave private sector, including private sector banks, <coughs> because they find the job security here. And here, they don't have to behave like babus and uh, say, yes, sir, yes, sir. They have certain level of freedom. And the salary is not that bad. When we compare with the central government or the Reserve Bank of India or LIC, the cost to company salary is almost equal or even better. Of course, there are issues like uh, the basic pay structure in the central government as well as the Reserve Bank and LIC is a little better. And they all have a regular updation of pension whenever the salary is revised for the existing employees. In the banking sector, that updation of pension is not taking place for three decades. But that does not mean that uh, banks are left with only comebacks. We have the best talents. Practically, when the S Bank, which was lauded as a very pro uh, progressing private sector bank, went into a crisis, State Bank of India was asked to send its DMD, Mr. Prashant Kumar, overnight. And he has saved the bank. Now it has turned profit. We have seen Mr. Ramesh Kumar, who was a DMD in State Bank of India after retirement, has been taken as bank, managing director of Tarud Visya Bank. Arundhati Bhattacharya, who was chairman of the State Bank of India, is sitting in the board of Reliance. The private sector is actually looking for talents even after retirement from the public sector. So whatever Mr. Gurumurthy said was not true. And he has no right to criticize bankers like scumbags and filth. What audacity he, he has. Who has given him that right to speak? He should immediately resign from the Reserve Bank board and he should publicly apologize. 
He has apologized in the past for his uh, nonsensical statements. So today, the entire banking industry is so angry. All the unions have demanded that he should resign and he should ask for apology. And they are right. Because you are criticizing the bankers in the public sector when all the public sector banks have recently announced very good profit. Already eight bank results have come, including the State Bank of India, which Mr. Sandeep Kumar was talking about, 31,700 and odd crores in one year profit. Banks are doing excellently well. They are performing excellently well in distributing government schemes. And in that time, Mr. Gurumurthy is making this attack. His aim and including probably Mrs. Nirmala Sitaraman, who did not object to his speech. She did not condemn the statement, but he appreciated the bank employees during their performance during COVID. But the truth is that these people are opposed to this reservation being implemented in the public sector bank. That's why they are demanding that the banks be privatized, the shareholding be brought down to 49%, so that it will become private, and the reservation policy will go. In any parameter today, the public sector banks are performing much better than the private sector banks. The per employee customers, the number of branches serving in the rural areas, the number of Jantan accounts open out of 44 crore account, 97% of the accounts for the common man under the Jantan Yojana was opened only by the public sector bank. The Mudra loan scheme, which is being lauded by the finance minister, the PM Swanidhi scheme for the street vendors, lending to the agriculture borrowers, the Kisan credit card, all this is being implemented only by the public sector bank. And they have some of the best talents. I have seen people choosing State Bank PO instead of an IAS selection. And that this moment, this man making this kind of a scathing attack is not at all warranted and he should apologize. And the Reserve Bank governor himself should ask for explanation from him and ask him to say. He knows the meaning of the word Kalisadayan. He is from Tamil Nadu, Canada. Mr. Sakti Gandhidhar. So, the ultimate aim of the people who were attending this meeting, it was supposed to be a conference on the 52 years of Tukluk weekly. But instead of that, they were talking only all kind of politics, attacking the Dravidian parties, attacking the DMK government, attacking the public sector bank, and demanding privatization. That is not at all correct. It is not warranted and it has to be objected. Unions have been fighting privatization. The unions have also announced that uh, immediately, if Mr. Gurumoti's uh, statement is not withdrawn and apologized and he is not removed from the Reserve Bank board, they will be going into agitation. And that is likely to happen. Already, one positive reaction has come. The Tukluk Digital channel in which this entire proceeding of that meeting was broadcasted. This particular portion where he was attacking the bankers has been cut off, deleted. And uh, now they are broadcasting without that attack in it. But that is not enough. When he made a public you know, statement, he has to apologize. But more than that, already the United Forum of Bank Unions had gone on strike even recently when the uh, parliament the finance minister announced that two banks are going to be privatized and that has been put on hold. So they have to uh, continuously mobilize people, take the campaign to the public. They alone cannot fight and win. They have to go to the public 
like we had seen during the FRDA bill campaign, financial resolution and the cost insurance bill. It was introduced was news click which published the first interview on that. And the campaign which picked up made the government to withdraw that proposal. The bill itself was withdrawn. The same way if this privatization agenda has to be put on hold, the unions have to work with the people, the civil society, people's movement, and also with the common man. That is going to solve the problem. 